Happy Tuesday. Good morning. Today our service, our prayer service, is offered for, in memory of the life and legacy of John Kebble. A reading from Luke. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, together, the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 97, Dominus Regnavit. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous, and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 99, Dominus Regnavit. The Lord is king, let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. Almighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decrees that he had given them. O Lord, our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them. You punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen and amen. A reading from Genesis. Then he charged him, saying to them, I am about to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my ancestors in the cave in the field of Ephron the Hittite, in the cave in the field at Machpelah near Mamre, in the land of Canaan, in the field that Abraham brought from Ephron the Hittite as a burial site. 
There Abraham and his wife Sarah were buried. There Isaac and his wife Rebekah were buried. And there I buried Leah. The field and the cave that is in it were purchased from the Hittites. When Jacob ended his charge to his sons, he drew his feet into the bed, breathed his last, and was gathered to his people. Then Joseph threw himself on his father's face and wept over him and kissed him. Joseph commanded the physicians in his service to embalm his father. So the physicians embalmed Israel. They spent 40 days in doing this, for that is the time required for embalming. And the Egyptians wept for him 70 days. When the days of weeping for him were past, Joseph addressed the household of Pharaoh. If now I have found favor with you, please speak to Pharaoh as father. My father made me swear an oath, he said. I am about to die. In the tomb that I hewed out for myself in the land of Canaan, there you shall bury me. Now therefore let me go up so that I may bury my father, then I will return. And Pharaoh answered, go up and bury your father as he made you swear to do. So Joseph went up to bury his father. With him went all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his household, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the household of Joseph, his brothers and his father's household. Only their children, their flocks, and their herds were left in the land of Goshen. Both chariots and charioteers went up with him. It was a very great company. When they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is, in, is beyond the Jordan, they, there they held, were very great and sorrowful lamentation, and he observed a time of mourning for his father seven days. When the Canaanite inhabitants of the land saw the mourning on the threshing floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous mourning on the part of the Egyptians. Therefore, the, name, the place was named Abel Mizraim, which is beyond the Jordan. Thus his sons did for him as he had instructed them. They carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field at Machpelah, where the field near Mamre, where Abraham bought as a burial site from Ephron the Hittite. After he had buried his father, Joseph returned to Egypt with his brothers and all who had gone up with him to bury his father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Benedictus est Domine, a song of praise, our first canticle. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise, glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between, seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Now in the following instructions I do not commend you, because when you came together, it is not for the better, but for the worse. For to begin with, when you came together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent I believe it. Indeed, there have been factions among you, for only so will it become clear who, be, who among you are genuine. When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter, I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what was handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever, therefore, eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat and br of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. 
So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give instructions when I come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dignus Ace, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Let us now profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now together pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread that he may live in us, and we in him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O God, that in all time of our testing we may know your presence and obey your will, that following the example of your servant John Kibble, we may accomplish with integrity and courage what you give us to do, and endure what you give us to bear. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer. We do this every morning at 10 a.m., Monday through Saturday, as we have done for the last two years. We hope you will continue to join us and start your day off with Holy Scripture and the Lord and basking in his presence as we do every second of the day. Remember to leave this world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. Look out for yourself and look out for others. God bless you.